What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19. Uh, T20 Youth Cup 2020 fixture number 12. Peshawar Zalmi versus Somerset. Last game of uh, round three. Somerset and Peshawar both have not won a game so far, as you can see. Peshawar at the bottom, seven points. And then Somerset, well, Somerset is actually at the bottom with zero points. Peshawar in seventh place with zero points as well. So someone will get points today. One of these teams will no longer be on zero after today. Peshawar, coach is Basit Khan and Somerset is Abrar. Now, the way to participate in leagues such as this is to become a channel member. Uh, you do it by pressing the join button right next to the subscribe button, or you can use the link in the description to become a channel member as well. Or you can follow me on my social medias as well. Anyone, Twitter or Instagram will do. And uh, yeah, if you want to know the rules, you can click on the eye icon in the top right corner and it'll take you to the draft video. Also, I'm starting a Let's Play channel. It's called Coyote Plays. Link will be in the description. I'll be playing story modes and, you know, different games on that channel. If you want to check it out, go ahead. I'll be uploading my first video very soon on it. So go ahead, subscribe to that channel as well. And let's get into this video. Raul Pindi Cricket Ground. Last time we had a pretty good game here. Very close one. I'm hoping we're gonna have some similar here again. Some good. So Somerset, the Dragons have cold heads. Aiden Markham, the captain of Somerset. All right, and they've won the toss. Somerset. Markram, what'll he do first? All righty then, he'll have to bat first. Or he, well, he chose to bat first. Shaheen a free to open the bowling. Aiden Markham to face the first delivery from Shaheen. Lovely back with Funch, but straight to the fielder. Good shot from Haider Ali. Over cover and onto the row for four runs. Lovely way to open your account. Oh, swing and a miss from the youngster from Pakistan. Oh, nipped in. That's what's beaten him. It landed on the seam and the ball nipped in. There's no telling which way the ball is going to go when the, knee, uh, the seam is that straight. He really didn't know either. He misjudged it. And well, he's paid the price. Sanju Samson is the next batsman in. That's a brilliant shot into extra cover. And that'll be four runs. Very well done from Sanju. That's a lovely flick of the wrist. Into mid wicket he goes, and that'll be another boundary for Sanju Samson. You guys know how much I love this guy. Such a talented player. Ah, inside edge. Unlucky for the bowler. Not for the batsman, though. That'll be four runs. The dragons are flying. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? Oh my! <laughs> that is so unfortunate. <laughs> I feel bad for him. That is unbelievably unfortunate. Gone for 13 of 7 in the most unfortunate manner possible. Ah, oh, nicked it. Oh. Between first slip and keeper. How did that happen? Lovely. Very good from the skip. We get full runs. Is letting Sanju do the damage, but now he has to do it because Sanju's gone. Oh, that's it. That's the one. He's got it straight on. Lovely. That'll be four. Brilliantly done. 11 of 10. Oh no. He's giving him a bit of room. A bit of room on offer. And well, he smashed it for four. Oh, brilliant. Into mid wicket. And that'll be another boundary. We've got him.
Got a bottom edge. Wanted to heave that one over mid-wicket. Look at that, he came out of the crease as well. Really wanted to bang that one over the row for six, but uh, it's got a bottom edge instead. That's what happens when the pressure mounts when you're not scoring runs. Yep. Oh wow, that's a cheeky shot from Dananjaya. That'll be four. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliantly placed straight into the hands of the fielder. <laughs> that's the end of uh, Nipandan and Jaya Sandeep. Lamuchane strikes from Nepal. a great shot that's a very good shot Markram is the only one uh, staying there scoring runs keeping his wicket yep. oh inside edge got lucky did not go on to his stump so he'll pick up a couple there that's important as long as they keep getting runs they don't have to get boundaries they just need to keep rotating the strike keep the scorecard ticking Singles and doubles will do. That was a risky one. Oh, I think he's made it back. I think he has. Yep. That's a cheeky shot from Gurbaz. No before. All right, well done. Comebacks on the cards. I've got the skipper still out there. Gurbaz can bat. I mean, there you go. There's another beautiful shot. This time, unfortunately, they'll only pick up one run. That's a brilliant shot. That'll be four. They have definitely got something. Oh, no. Oh, that's the end yeah. of... Uh, Rahmanullah. Just when I thought they had something on the cards. Peshawar gets a breakthrough. That's what they've done so well throughout this game, Peshawar. They've not let their opponent settle in. Have not let them build partnerships, which is such a vital component of building an innings, building that partnership. That's what leads to a good innings, team innings. That is. Sam Curran comes in next. That's not out. Come on, it's landed outside of leg. It's hit him outside of leg, and I don't even think it's going to go into the stumps. Oh, oh, oh wrong gun! They saved him completely. Sam Curran clearing his front foot, trying to go over mid wicket. Thought it would be a normal leg spin delivery. Well, it was a googly, went the opposite direction. Completely deceived him, got his metal pole. Sam Curran out for a duck. Out for none. Nada. Nine. Finn Hudson, next batsman in. Ah, uh, it's at edge that'll be four. He's got two last names, you know, I don't trust him. <laughs> oh, lovely. Over cover, that'll be four. Just one run away from his half ton now. He's been the only one holding this together. And whatever they've got on the board, I mean, it's mostly due to Aiden Markham's innings. There it is. 50 of 51 deliveries. He's taken his time with it, but it was needed. He needed to keep his wicket, and that's exactly what he's done. Now he's going to take on the charge. There it is. Boundary right after he completes his 50. Oh. Guides at the end of the gap. We'll pick up one. Yeah, just one. So that's 121 runs. Which, honestly, I don't think is enough. Markram 55 of 53. Like I said, really the only one who put up a fight. 
It's a difficult wicket to bat on, I'm assuming, because no one really got going, and the one batsman who did get going, well, he took 53 deliveries to score 55, so... I'm assuming it's a very tough wicket to bat on. Avishka Fernando, Tim David to open a batting for Peshawar. And Sakiba Mood from England, a pacer. To open a bowling for the Somerset Dragons. Here we go. First delivery to Avishka from Sakib. Ooh, a back foot punch. This is how they started their innings as well, you know, Somerset. Yes. Oh, inside edge. That's gone for four. It's very similar so far to the first innings. Sakib not too happy. Shake of the head. Oh, that's brilliant. Over cover, and on the rope, he'll go for four runs. Very well done, Avishka Fernando. Yep. Gotcha. Avishka, it's looking good, taking on the charge so far. Tim David at the other run, just rotating the strike. Oh, wow. Good shot over mid, uh, mid off. And that'll be four more runs. Avishka gets another boundary. Still in boundaries, Fernando, whereas David has kept quiet until then. There he goes. First boundary for him. He'll move into double digits, David. That's a lovely shot into mid wicket. They haven't got a mid wicket. Square leg have got a chase, and he has chased it successfully. Don't go for the third, come on. It's foolish if you do. Yep. Good shot. <clears throat> oh no, they've cut it off. Oh, that's a run out. That's a run out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Nothing new here. Just foolish running, suicidal running. That's a Vishka gone. A very talented batsman who was looking very, very good. 12 of 9, he was looking aggressive. He was scoring in uh, boundaries. Hit three boundaries. Every single run he's got is off a boundary. Tom Banton, Tommy Bantz, next batsman in. Yes. Good shot. They haven't got a deep square leg. They have got a fine leg, though. And he has cut it off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh that's out. That is out. That is quite a throw back. From the boundary rope. From deep square leg. How? That is unbelievable. No chance for the batsman. Tim David gone for a 14 of 17. It's too good. Shreya Sire, next batsman in. That's brilliantly done. Over cover that goes. And on the rope, he'll go for four runs. They were on a team hat trick. They haven't got it, though. Yep, yep. It. it goes over the inner circle, Ayer. And he'll get four runs. 40 up. Okay, gets lucky that will be four. Oh no, it's not. That's very well saved. That is amazing fielding. He's done really well. Saved him two runs. Yes. Uh, that's going to be a four, I think. Well, it should be at least. Fielder's not giving up the chase. And he has chased it down. Oh, so that's not a four either. It might even be a run out. No, he's safe. That's very well fielded. Oh, that's out. That's straight in front. That has to be given. It is given. That's the end of Shreya Sire. Musa Khan strikes with a slow one. He's got him. A change of pace. He's gone for eight of five. Lichten Das is the next batsman in. Oh, swung in a lot. But Bant have uh, just smashed it straight over the ground, over the, I mean, over the... Yes. Top edge, over the wicketkeeper. And land safely, right between the two fielders there. Wow, placed it perfectly, almost as if he wanted it that way. Yep. 
Outside edge, they've got a third man. They're pushing for the second. It's probably going to be a run out. Oh, I couldn't really see his bad position, but I think he might be gone. Keeper did take way too long though, but it's still out. Does not matter in the end. He is gone. That's another wicket down for PZ. O-U-T to Littendas, 11 of 10. Strike rate should be over 100, not a 100, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Push the Lashan X batsman in. Yep. Lovely. Pick up two. Yep, smart cricket. They've got a lot of deliveries, but they haven't got too many wickets. No risk needed. Oh, okay, just as I say, no risk needed. Tommy Bans does that, and he's lost his wicket. Now, what was the point of that? Other than losing your own wicket, obviously. Just, I don't know. I understand he has to keep applying pressure, but you can keep it grounded. You can take a couple of runs. Like I keep saying, if you take two runs every delivery, that's 200 strike rate, that's 12 run rate, that's a lot of runs. Good shot. Over point, and under the rope, he'll go for four. Brilliantly done from Kostilcha. Ah, outside edge. He's done well enough to get his bat on it, though, because if he hadn't gotten back to it, that would have been out. His off stump would have been out and about, cartwheeling back to the dugout. Yep. Oh, lovely. Straight to the fielder, though. No, it's an overthrow, Somerset. They needed that wicket. If they'd gotten that, it would have been a different game. Yes. Like Lance, not a great shot. We'll pick up two runs for it though, which is brilliant. That's it. Come on, we need to see more dives, man. Good shot, very good shot from Push Del Del before. He was selected for this very reason, his ability to find the rope towards the end, the death overs, and that's what he's doing well here. Ah, that's a full toss on a free hit, not a great delivery. I'm assuming he was aiming for a Yorker length. He's completely missed his mark, and Seoul has punished him. Yep. Lovely. The Dragons are not fi breathing fire any longer. Because the Zelmis have got him. No Drakaris for them today. Peshawar have won by five wickets. They did fight, though. They did put up a fight. Somerset. And um, I mean, it all went wrong with about 121 is, it's a low total. I mean, we have seen very close games with low totals, but uh, still, you know, you can't expect miracles to happen every day now, can you? And Markram gets them out of the match, rightfully so. Seven wickets for Dominic Bess and Kuldeep Yadav each. Do let me know who do you think is going to finish at the top of this table. Now we'll take a look at the highest run scorers. Now we have four batsmen who've got into the triple digits. Who do you think is going to finish at the top? Let me know in the comments uh, down below. And at last, the most important table, this one, the team table, is going to finish at the top of this one. Top four is going to go through the playoffs. So far, Brisbane is looking very good. Cruising. Melbourne and Lancashire and Adelaide have got two wins each. And uh, then you've got Trinbago, Peshawar and Dilly with one each, one win each. And Somerset with no wins at all. Somerset is not out yet. They've still got four games to go. If they win all four of those games, they've got a chance to make it through. But they have to win all four of the remaining games. And if they have a chance, then obviously the rest do as well. So do let me know who do you think is going to make it in the top four. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...